So here they come. Andreas Backman on pole position and Konstantin Schurl joining him on the front row. Kawasi son of Japan on row two with the lady from Italy, Natalia Balbo. Jose Enrique Brito from South America on row three with Marcel Schirmer. Sasha Pio Haida of Germany and Steve Bull of Great Britain on row four. Jessica Backman, the second of the girls, and Jordi van Morsel from Netherlands on row five. Behind those on row six, Marco Gottler and Ferenc Kankshaw. Row seven, Jakomati Paulin and Marius Rauer. Row eight, Christoph Adams and Jamie Billings. Row nine, Frederick Franson and Ron Billings and Clive Billings completing the grid in cart number 671. These are DD2s, so the race distance will be 13 laps. So far, heat one was won by Jose Enrique Brito, but unfortunately for Jose, he went out of heat two. So he's got a first and a last to his name. Second in race one was Natalia Balbo, and she won race two. So leading the standings as we go into heat three is the girl from Italy, Natalia Balbao, with a first and a second to her credit. Andreas Backman, the pole man, has a second and a third to his credit. And in the Masters category, Tomokazu Kawasi has got a big lead over the other Masters. So, Andreas Backman is on pole position, joined on the front row by Konstantin Schul. Tomokazu Kawasi and Natalia Balbo are row two. Jose Enrique Brito and Marcel Schirmer, row three. Here we go. Andreas Backman getting a good start from the pole position. Oh, and Constantine Schurl, who was quite fast on the outside of the front row, getting squeezed out a little bit. Andreas Backman being followed by Japanese driver Tomokazo Kawasi. And in third place, not sure if that's Jose Enrique Brito, might well have been. Kawasi going well. Constantine Schurl now consolidating his position but there's no doubt that the Swedish driver we've got a brother and sister team in this one and it's the lad Andreas who's got a lead of well eight cart lengths at least on the opening lap started on pole position in each of the races but he's finished second and third finished third in heat one second in heat two can he go one better in this one let's give you the call over at the end of the opening lap Andreas Backman leading from Tomokazo Kawasi, Jose Enrique Brito in third place. So we called you the first three accurately enough. Constantine Schurl fourth, Natalia Balbo fifth, Sasha Pio Haida sixth, Jessica Backman seven, Marcel Schirmer eight, Jordi Van Morsel nine, and Steve Bull, who gets some good fast starts in these, making it into the top ten at this stage. Already making a move forward is the lady from Italy, Natalia Balbo, was fifth at the end of the opening lap. She's at fourth place now, having gone past Constantin Schurl, and in fact has gone up to third, hasn't she? Just looking at the screen for the first time. There you see her in shot. Cart 656 is Natalia Balbo, and she's itching, just looking to make a move on Jose and Oh, and getting a little bit wrong there, the lady. Not losing a lot of speed, though. You're seeing Jose Enrique Brite being pursued by Natalia Balbao. In the foreground, you saw the big lead of Andreas Backman. We're looking at second and third on shot on screen. Brito holding second place. Balbo pitching to try to go from third to second. It's Konstantin Schurl in. There's Andreas Backman. You saw what a big margin he'd got there. Brito won race one today and uh, went out of race two. 
And there's a good shot of uh, Andreas Backman's advantage. Let's look what it is in terms of the time. 1.2 seconds. 1.2 seconds better off than Jose Enrique Brito. And Jose's not hanging around because he's being pushed to the limit by Natalia. Fastest lap to Jose. And that's uh, in no small part due to the chase by Natalia. And Jose has done well because he's held off a potential challenge from Natalia Balbao. As you see from those pictures now, Natalia not close enough to put on a challenge. And so a good burst of driving by en uh, Enrique, Jose Enrique Brito, who was under pressure from the Italian lady and has held that pressure really well. Andreas Backman's margin though, still a healthy one, but not as big as it was. It was 1.2, it's now 0.759. Just looking a little bit further down, Steve Bull into 8th place from 10th. Ferenc Kankshaw was 12th, he drops to 14th. Christoph Adams, second of the Masters, running 15th. F uh, Frederick Franson, third of the Masters, is running in 17th place. We've lost Ron Billings, we've lost Bonds Billings, cart number 669. We had a chat with him in the lounge earlier today. Hope I've not put the commentators or the interviewers curse on Ron because Ron's out of heat three. As we come round to start lap six, Andreas Backman has a lead of 0.57 of a second over Jose Brito. Natalia Balbo third. No change of position in the whole of the top ten. Tenth place occupied by Tomokazu Kawasi. He's the first of the Masters. Christoph Adams is in 14th place and the second of the Masters. And Ferenc Kanksar drops a further place down from 14th to 15th. Have to tell you that Ferenc is testing some new parts this weekend. So he didn't feel he was in with a competitive chance. But I think he would have hoped for at least a top 10 running rather than a top 15 running. Just got uh, Jamie Billings immediately behind him. This is lap 6 of 13. Five minutes into the race. Andreas Backman setting off now on lap seven. His lead is 0 0.42 of a second. Jose Brito running second. Natalia Balbo running third. No change of position in the top seven, but in the lower order of the top ten, Jordi van Morsel has moved up from ninth to eighth. That puts Steve Bull down to ninth. And Tomokazu Kawasi still holding a place in the top 10, but at number 10. And a really good dice now with Andreas Backman and Jose Brito. And Jose Brito definitely getting closer to Andreas Backman. Andreas Backman with a third place and a second place really would like a win. But Brito getting closer. The margin between them is 0.3 of a second. Natalia Balbo in third place. Natalia being pursued by Konstantin Schurl. But Andreas Backman, our race leader. Jose Brito getting closer by the moment. Jose Brito on the technical part, the infield part of the circuit. Not the fastest part, the technical part. But Andreas Backman going through that hairpin a little bit better than uh, Jose Brito, but Brito no more than one length behind him. Now onto the fast straight, down to the chicane before the home straight. Through the little left and right chicane, onto the home straight. This will be the start of lap nine. Andreas Backman's lead, 0.137. And Brito bidding to take the lead and does. Jose Brito takes the lead. Jose Enrico Brito from South America takes the lead. The driver from Ecuador on lap nine takes the lead from the pole sitter, Andreas Backman. So Brito now one, Backman two, Balbo three. If the race was to finish here now, Andreas Backman will have had a first, a second and a third. And Natalia Balbo will have had a first, a second and a third. So a very competitive DD2 class. 
Jose Enrico Brito coming round to start lap 10. <laughs> Andreas Backman, 0.28 of a second in arrears. Natalia Balbo holding off the challenge of Constantine Sherlu is fourth. Jessica Backman in one of her best places so far today. Jessica running in fifth. So the girls running third and fifth. Marcel Schirmer sixth. Jordi Van Morsel seventh. Tomokazu Kawasi has moved up from tenth to eighth. Steve Bull is running ninth. And Marco Gottler running in the top ten. We've also lost um, cart 676 Sasha Pio Haida as well as cart 669 Bonds Billings. So uh, commiserations to Sasha as well as to Bonds. Leaders setting off on lap 11 and Jose Enrique Brito looking in a relatively safe place. Andreas Backman who's been at school in Sweden for most of this week, so he's done a lot less free practice than everyone else, but he was uh, good enough to be qualifying on pole position, so he'll be a little disappointed not to get a victory, but two second places and a third would be okay. Jose Enrique Brito bidding to have two victories and a non-finish. So the driver from Ecuador, when he finishes his race, he tends to finish first, but... This is only lap 11. A lot can happen in kart racing. Tomokazu Kawazi up another place up to seventh as our caption has just shown us. He leads the Masters. Second in the Masters is Chris Adams who's in 13th place. And confirmation on our caption that we've lost Sasha Pio Haida and Bonds Billings. Fastest lap then to Andreas Backman, even though he's not the race winner, race leader, excuse me, 50.001. We're on lap 12 of 13, just one and a half laps remaining. In fact, it's less than one and a half for our front two. Can Andreas Backman find a way back? to get past Jose Brito, who is our leader. There you see them on screen. Big distance between second and third, but all to race for still for the victory. <laughs> Jose Brito has got the lead. Andres Backman in second place is not in a position close enough to challenge. Natalia Balbo on course for a third place finish to follow her second place finish and her race victory. So it's looking as if two race victories are going the way of Jose Enrique Brito. And a first, second and a third to Natalia Balbo who by my calculations would take pole position in tomorrow's pre-final. Backman making a final little burst. Is there anything left that he can throw? Probably not. Here's the chequered flag. Victory goes to Jose Enrique Brito. Second is Andreas Backman. Third is Natalia Balbo. Fourth, Constantine Schurl. Fifth is Jessica Backman. That's her best drive of the day by far. Marcel Schirmer, sixth. Tomokazo Kawazi, seventh. And first in the Masters. Jordi Van Morsel, eighth. Steve Bull, ninth. Yakomati completing the top 10. In the Masters, Tomokazu Kawase is one, Christoph Adams two, and Frederick Franson three. In the race proper, Jose Enrique Brito takes his second victory, Andreas Backman in second place, and Natalia Balbo in third. When they leave the track, I'll give you a quiet call over of the full result. Well, it's on screen now, the caption, so those of you that are tuned in on, uh, at home, you've already seen our caption up front. <laughs> 